Welcome back everyone to my channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of cool DIY projects on my channel and I show you how to organically get your lawn looking better. Today's video, I'm gonna show you all my Christmas lights outside. Uh, I know it's a little late in the season to be showing you guys my lights, but I figure I'd show you my display um, and how I put it together. So let's get started. So I know it's gonna be a little bit dark on this video, but um, I'm gonna try my best to go in the lighted areas. Um, as you can see, my front door over here. We just used a nice big bulbs here. These are actually the old fashioned kind, uh, the red and green over here. These are the ones where you just unplug them and you plug them in when they go. It's very old school. Um, we have an old school uh, blow mold Santa here as well. This dates back to like when I was growing up. And then this side of the house, I got two, two LED uh, floodlights here shining on the front of my house here. Little projector here for snowflakes. We got LEDs running up the side of my windows here. And then on the very top there on the roof line, we got LED, uh, the warm white uh, bulbs. And they run all along my roof line there. And these are just wrapped red and green. Um, and I know it's probably not the best idea, but if you can see here, I can focus in here. I got screws uh, along my uh, windows there. I just don't like the idea of having to put those uh, little clips in every year. And I also hang Halloween lights as well. So it's a little bit easier for me to hang them uh, and take them down. And then as we come over here, I call this my frozen tree. Um, I have it wrapped in blue and white uh, LED lights. Again, these are the warm uh, white lights. Um, I just like the warm white better. I just feel like the, uh, the, the regular white lights, I forget the name of what they call them specifically. I just feel like the, the white isn't like a true white. Um, and I feel like the warm white lights, they're like a little bit of a truer uh, white color. And then this whole tree is pretty much just wrapped with white and blue. And then we just have a one LED white floodlight out there out front shining up. And it kind of gives you like of an effect of the light uh, going up into the tree branches there. And this is like the main focal point um, of my development. Uh, my development's pretty much like a horseshoe and we have quartz off of it. And basically when you come down the street, this is the first tree that you see. So like I was saying that this tree is like the main focal point when you come down my street here. Um, my street, as you can see here, you come down here and bam, that just hits you right in your face. So I've done this for two years now. Um, I really like it. And it makes it, makes it like a little bit of a change from the red and green, the standard, you know, Christmas colors, um, which I really like. I still like the classic look of the red and green. I think a lot of us out there like that. Um, got my American flag out there. So I do have a landscape light there in the middle. Um, so when these lights do go off around like 11 o'clock at night, I still have my landscape light there. And I have my landscape lights that shine up into my tree here. And I also have a landscape light out over there at that tree that lights up that tree. 
and landscape lights are really nice they're really inexpensive they're low voltage so they don't put off a lot of electricity um, and it just gives you a little bit more security around your uh, yard I have obviously a corner lot here so it gives you a little bit more security and it really you know brightens up your place so next year I'm probably gonna go in more detail how I wrap my trees um, and things like that and how I do my roof line uh, clips um, there's really some cool tri tricks that I've learned over the years. Um, I really like to bunch up my lights in like a ball and then wrap my trees. It's like a little bit easier. I learned it online actually on YouTube of course. Um, but again next year I'm going to go into more detail about it. I was late into the game this year obviously. I just started my channel over a month ago. I'm already up over 100 subscribers and I really appreciate everyone subscribing and liking my videos. It's really encouraging. I really didn't think I was gonna get to it this fast to 100 subscribers, but I did and I appreciate it. Everyone watching and viewing and sharing my videos. Um, and like I said, in the springtime, this channel, it's gonna explode. We're gonna have a lot more cool uh, landscaping tips, a lot of cool lawn t uh, cutting tips. Um, so there's gonna be a lot more content coming in the springtime, but in the meantime, in the wintertime, I'm still gonna have a lot of cool DIY projects, the wood projects that I do with my stencils and my signs. Um, I really love doing that kind of stuff. I really like making those wood signs. Um, so that's gonna be coming a lot more in the wintertime. But if you're not into that, and you're into strictly the lawn stuff, I'll see you in the springtime. And everyone out there, please have a safe and happy holiday and a Merry Christmas to everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.